fucking kill us. What are you talking about? I'm not going to kill y'all. Bro, just let us out the car. Bro, this bro. is sheriffs. They going to kill me for some shit that I did. Bro, if you pull over and put your they hands gonna up. They going to kill me, cuz. Yeah, y'all, you got to pull over and put your hands up, bro. My fucking baby's in the car, bro. Bro, just pull over and put your hands up, bro. My baby is in the car, Dayan. Bro, my baby is in here, bro. You bro, Dayan, just pull over. I understand. Let us out, bro. Fuck, cuz, cuz these bitch ass snoover niggas, cuz. Bro, just let us out, bro. Let us out. Bro, I'm not even supposed to be in this shit right now. Bro, let us out, Dayan. Dayan, let us out, bro. It's over with. Dayan, let us the fuck out. Oh, stop this. Bro, no, I'm not relaxing when you got my baby in the car. They got guns pointed to the car. They about to hit the car, bro. You're not thinking about your baby right now. You better get our baby, too, bro. they going to smoke me. You already did it the first time, bro. Don't do this shit again, bro. Bro, I love y'all. Y'all, I'm never going to see y'all again. Bro, we nah. love you more, bro. You is going to see us again, but you got to pull over, bro. You have to, bro. Pull over with your hands in the air, Dayan. Bro, it's over with. Bro, Dayan, pull over. Bro, Dayan, pull over, Dayan. Bro, you don't give a shit about your baby, bro. It's I do. I love both of y'all. Then pull the fuck over, What the bro, fuck you think you, I live for? Bro, you finna get us fucking killed, bro. For some shit that bro, I did. Bro, let us out the fucking matter. Who the fuck did it? Let me the fuck out with my fucking baby. I'm yeah. not gonna keep telling you, bro. Pull the fuck over and oh, run. Oh. That's your best fucking day, bro. You not gonna put my baby in danger. I'm sorry, I love you, but you not gonna do that to us, bro. I don't care. Give me bro. another bottle of water. Bro, it Give ain't me. no fucking water. It's bro. in the bag. I put two. Bro, get out, bro. Bro, oh, I promise I'm not gonna do nothing but you Bro, yeah, you look at what the fuck you doing. You talking about you not gonna put us in danger. You, the last thing you do is should be on fucking live. The fuck? And you sit here on live like this shit is a fucking game to you, bro. My fucking baby's in danger. Bro, bro this is my baby too. Okay, you think I'm the fuck over you give a fuck about her, bro. Let us the fuck out, bro. Bro, let us out. Oh my god. Y'all let us out. Yes, boss. Back in here again once again, man. Let's go right into it. So I've seen this video flash on my YouTube, and this had to be the most senseless, most reckless, most weirdest video I've seen for 2024, right? So basically, there's a guy who supposedly took the police on a high-speed chase. He has not only his baby mother in the car, but he has his two-month-old daughter in the car, right? Show you what was so weird and twisted about this video. The mere fact that he's on live recording the whole live high speed chase like he's trying to go viral. I don't know what the case is, but this was the most cowardice thing I ever seen. Right. And when I seen this video it kind of worried me a lot for the future of like the next generation, because there's a lot of kids out here that's like doing like some weird stuff crashing out doing things just for clout and attention when it's not even that necessary right and not only that you got his baby mom in the background talking about day on day on pull over the car pull over the car and he was telling her to calm down let me tell you something bro and this is a message for a lot of young women bro when you choose these type of guys these are the problems you're gonna have to deal with whether in this form or in another form you love thugs and you think this shit is fun Here's how bad her uh, uh, things could have got out of hand, right? The mere fact that he has them in the back seat, speeding through traffic, weaving through traffic, in and out, driving on the opposite side of the road, shows clear as day he doesn't care much about the girl in the background, the child, or himself. You get what I'm saying? And this is who she chose as her baby father or who to pro procreate with. This is, the, this is some of the stuff that worries me for the world. You get what I'm saying? 
choosing these type of guys and the next thing you know when they put you in danger you crying for your life and oh no they on pull over the car you need to understand this bro and this is for a lot of women who think young girls whatever you want to call yourself and you think this shit is cute these are some of the problems that these little so-called bad boys will put you into because you love the thrill it's so fun just because of her choices she almost lost her life you get what i'm saying whether you want to look at it that way oh d'angelo you going too deep oh this was just a police chase it doesn't matter bro whatever you're looking at is supposed to be some form of fun it could end up costing you your life dog just the mere fact he took them on a high speed chase she said yo pull over slow down he's not trying to hear that this is another lesson, and I stated this before in the previous videos when I talk about Sexy Red, right? When you choose these little bad boys, for whatever reason, you feel like they're going to protect you or nobody's going to bother you. You feel like so safe. How do you know when to be able to control or he's going to turn off his little little craziness or whatever the case may be? This is a part of what it is that you choose, and it comes with the package, from her and her decisions, you procreated with this dude. He took you on a high-speed chase, nearly cost you your life, nearly cost your daughter's life. For you to get out the car, say you sorry, and kiss him and all of that there. Let me tell you something. I'm starting to really see it. People really do love, appreciate, adore, glorify, smother, bask in nothing but badness. And they love it, whether they think it's fun, it's cool, it's something to... It's, it's, a, it's a future thing to look back on that we made it out of. That shit isn't cool, nor is it cute, bro. This is a situation that could have easily went left and show you something else that some people probably didn't look into. The only reason why he slowed down this high-speed chase is because it came to a dead end. If there was no dead end, chances are he would have kept going and anything could have happened. A truck could have came around the corner, smacked and killed all three of them in a the car. And this is from him being the leader, him being in control. The choice that she made was to go and pick up this type of dude. This is something that worries me for the future of a lot of young girls, a lot of people who feel like this stuff is cool, it's cute, dating bad boys, dating reckless people. I've seen a lot of people had their life thrown away and screwed up from messing with the wrong kind of people, bro. And this is not something that's a joke, my nigga. When I seen this, I could have easily let the video ride because I seen it yesterday. But I'm like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and still do a video about it. Because it's not nothing funny at the end of the day, bro. A two-month-old child was in the back of was in the back seat, driving reckless with the baby mother in the car. And then on top of it to be like, oh, you know, all right, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not coming to a stop. I'm not stopping right now. Calm down. Bro, let me tell you something, dog. This was nothing that was any form of responsible. This was nothing near safe, nothing near cool at all. This was completely reckless, bro. And from him even doing what he did, his charges are going to be hefty for that. He has to have a damn good lawyer. You get what I'm saying? Because for you to put this high-speed chase on, take L.A. Uh, police sheriff or whatever on a high-speed chase, then endanger a child. That's child endangerment, bro. Then on top of that, you have your BM in the background uh, or in the back seat of the car. Whether they want to label it kidnapping or not, that's all reckless behavior, bro. And I don't care what you may look at it as, bro. Reckless behavior is nothing cute, nor is it cool, bro. From people being reckless, other innocent people can get hurt. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing cool about when you want to be a gangster and be reckless and innocent people get hurt. You get what I'm saying? It's been plenty of instances where not even just high speed chase, people shooting, gun violence. There's a lot of stray bullets that's claimed innocent lives, little children. This is the type of stuff that people need to look out for. This is nothing cool at all, bro. Just the mere fact that he did all of this, put it on live stream. This was like a going viral moment for him, whether some people want to believe it or not. Posting up my reckless behavior. I got L.A. County, um, L.A. sheriffs on a high-speed chase. I got a child in the background. Whatever the case may be, you could see it in him. He's a coward. That's why he started running. And that's another message for a lot of young men, bro. Some dudes pick up in this lifestyle trying to pick up all the women and all of that, and they end up screwing their life, bro. Yes, there's a lot of girls who like bad boys, but I'm telling you this right now, bro. 
when you throw your life away doing reckless stuff for females or for attention or for clout, they're going to go off and go mess with somebody else, bro. You're just going to go and sit down and do your time and come back out here. And whatever you want to pick up on, that's what you want to pick up on. But I'm telling you like this, living a reckless lifestyle is not where it's at. Doing things for clout is not where it's at, bro. Being yourself, being humble, being genuine, being genuine, that's where it's at, bro. Don't do anything out here for clout to please the next person or whatever the case may be. Make sure whoever you choose as your partner is somebody that's not going to put you in a reckless, selfish situation like this. Because easily all three of them could have lost their lives, bro. That would have been a two-month-old that never really got a chance to experience life. A young girl who lost her life. A young guy who lost his life. But thankfully, that's not the situation. This is just something that's very serious that you have to be very careful or who it is that you talk to, who you choose to give your time to, who you procreate with, all of that. Because I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Messing with the wrong people will ruin your life. You get what I'm saying? And I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Time is very important. It's very precious. It's something that you cannot get back. So make sure you spend it wisely, bro. Don't spend it hanging around reckless people or people who don't have nothing going for themselves or who do things just because they may feel like it's cool, bro. It's not. You know what I'm saying? That being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I'm going to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser, man. It's your boy 444 The World. Peace.